Hi everybody, you are watching the tutorials and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to apply vintage, grunge or um, distressing textures uh, in Gravity Designer. So uh, basically if you have a simple wordings, so you have a logo type, which also called wordmark. You can learn about different uh, types of logos in my previous uh, tutorials, video tutorials, where I explain five types of logos. So guys, if you have a simple not fancy font, but simple wordmark. You need to grab and load my textures. Go to tutorials.net and download my textures and go to the folder gra called Gravit. And here you can find three textures. Only three because uh, other textures are too heavy and freeze these applications. So Ctrl C from this document and navigate to the document with your text and control V. You would have this group. You can basically ungroup, but I wouldn't recommend you to do that. Uh, I'm gonna to log this background, select all of this stuff and run the subtract boolean shape operator. So let's run subtract. It requires some time to process uh, this. And voila, we have this distressing texture here. You can see. And what's more important is that this is a life effect. So you can uh, move this texture or move this uh, wording and uh, change the result. For example, let me show you. I can grab simply this uh, small dot and place it on my word. So it's also subtracts from my word. This is how you can distress this uh, wordings. The same is applicable to the shape. So I wouldn't show you because it's absolutely the same operation. You place the texture above the shape and then run a subtract operator. Uh, since a little bit more tricky um, when you work with the uh, Parson shape because um, if you run the Parson shape it would freeze your application First of all, convert it to the path. Make a copy of your adjustable text and then Ctrl Shift P, Command Shift P. It can convert it to the compound path. Get rid of this path that formed your curve. Yes? And now let's let me show you. I have this compound path, and for example, I want to apply the same texture here. If you want to help Gravit to process more quickly, you can Ctrl Shift G this group to ungroup and then grab your uh, subsect tool. First of all, you can delete this uh, rectangle and then with subsect tool de delete unnecessary uh, points. So all these points that goes far beyond the wordmark should be deleted. Now, now, you can select your text and uh, select your texture and go subtract them. Again, it requires uh, some time, but it leads to very nice result. Things become even more complicated when you work with the fancy fonts. In these fonts, as you can see, letters contact with each other and it's script. So when you apply the texture to this text, let me show you. I select both of them and run a subtract. Wait for a while. And you will see this picture. When one part of the letter creates a hole into the other, other letter. What you can do, guys, with this. So you can have now a compound shape. So everything, again, everything is pretty manageable. Everything pre pretty adjustable, yes? So what you can do with this, you need to go to this fill panel, to this advanced options. And from this drop-down menu, choose 
even odd or non-zero. You need to set a non-zero. And as you can see, it covers some holes, but not all. So um, my advice to you, my advice, is to first convert it to path, control shift B, command shift B. Then again, go to this even odd non-zero. And then make your own adjustments to this compound path. So. Of course, it can be overkill if you have some rather complex wording or so on. So it's only a question of patience. If you have enough patience to do it manually, do it manually. Last but not least, guys, this is a tutorial that I want to prepare for you. And if you enjoy this without texture, if you want to, you can go join Gravity Design Tutorial Group and leave a reply, or you can leave a reply right below this video if you want to sh uh, to uh, watch this tutorial how to create this kind of logos. But this logos requires a texture, and if you run texture, as you can see, this uh, text has three effects. First, it's a text on path, and then it has a two long shadows. It looks amazing, just amazing, and requires one additional small step to add a texture, but don't even dream about that. Guys, I converted to raw path, I make it vice versa, starting with the letters and uh, make them one by one, I then hide these uh, effects, but it simply doesn't work. So, for me, for m in my opinion, Gravit doesn't support the texture well enough. So, if you, again, want to learn more about Gravit, join my mailing list, join Gravit Design Tutorials group. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments form below, or any comments. Probably I don't know how to apply this. I also want to ask your advice. What can be done here, in this situation? I have a particular situation and I want to apply a texture to this text that you can see here. If you have any ideas, leave them in the comments form below. I want to thank for your attention and for your time. Happy holidays and have a great day.